Uh, welcome back to the new learning series. My name is Anna Alfred. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and enjoy these lessons freely. Uh, we looked at uh, cylinders uh, last time. We are now looking at the truncated cylinder. That's the cylinder when it's cut at either an angle or by a curve. So still looking at the development of surfaces and I've said we are looking at the truncated cylinders. And this is our example too. Now as you look at the figure here, you discover that it's quite similar to what we looked at earlier. But this one is just cut at an angle of 45. Now, I said that whenever you're developing these figures, you look at the type of development you're going to use. And here we're going to use parallel line method. Let us continue. Now, when we are looking at the development of this, the first thing we do is to create the divisions on the plan. And here, we have our divisions created and we are going to label them from 0, 1, 2, 3 until we reach the last point. Now having divided into those divisions, you project the lines. Now this time to move up to the slanting edge of that front view. And we have our points as you can see. Uh, for easy plotting, we need to label those points. So we label them in line with what we are seeing on the plan. We have 0, so we should see 0 on the front, 1 and 11 in the same line, 2 and 10 also in the same line. We have 3, 9 in the same line, 4, 8 a line in the same line, 5, 7 and then 6. So having labeled that, we project our baseline from the front view. And when you project, you get the line like that. And you get the small arc radius of the circle. And you mark off these divisions. Next, uh, you see that I've tried to demonstrate that the radius of this small arc you've made is equivalent to the radius at that point. Now we draw our line through the topmost part of the cylinder so that we have the limits for the development. Having done that, we also raise the lines. We need the lines at 90 degrees through these points 1, 2, 3, up to 11. And when you do that, you obtain something of that kind. So you have this. If it was not cut or if it was not truncated, then this is what you would see. But since it is cut, we also need to put that into consideration. So we are going to project our lines horizontally from the points on the cut surface of the cylinder. And when you do that, you have these lines. As you can see, you have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 until you conclude them. Now we are going to plot. The plotting is the same as when you're plotting the pyramid. So you look at the points, how they are aligning themselves. So you have 0 against 0, 1 against 1, 2 against 2. And when you plot that, you will see points of that kind. So you have one, two, three until you get to the same point. Having done that, we need to join the curve with a free hand. So when you join the curve with a free hand, it will move like that. And you continue joining to obtain the other side of the curve. Now, this being a cylinder, of course, you also need to finish up the outline. And when you finish the outline, it 
to give you the complete part of the cylinder in that style and you outline your figure you see it outlined that is making it bold in that style and that is the development of the truncated cylinder uh, on your last page you're seeing these questions we are saying a try out so try out these two drawings and if you if you can access the phone you can drop them on my number zero seven five eight six two three nine four three i'll give the hand in case you present them thank you